In this video, we want to use a TI calculator to help us with Newton's method on approximating a zero function. So what we want to do is we want the calculator to do most of the work for us instead of having to actually plug these values in and calculate them because as we saw in class when the, when the functions get more complex and the derivatives get more complex, things just get a little bit messy. So we need the calculator to do some of the work for us. That'll be really helpful. So what we want to do is we need two functions programmed in our calculator. The first function we need is the original function, and the second function is the derivative function. So if you hit your y equals button, uh, I already pl uh, programmed these in, but you can program the original function into the y sub 1 spot and the derivative into the y sub 2 spot. Once you have those inputted, uh, you can go back to your main screen. And now what we want to do is we want to write a function that we can just continually um, iterate in order to get ourselves closer to that zero. So what well, first thing we want to do is put in our initial guess. So if you just type in your initial guess of one and hit enter, um, that saves that, so to speak, as the previous answer in the calculator. And now to get our next guess, what we want to do is we want to take that answer. And from that answer, we want to subtract um, the quotient of those two functions. Okay. So for the numerator there, we're going to take that old function, or the first function, so you're going to hit the VARS button, go over to your Y variables, select function, and you want to select the first function there, that's Y sub 1. Okay, and we need to tell it what, tell it what to input into that function. What we want to input is that previous answer. So that input is going to be the previous answer as well. And then we want to divide that by the derivative function. So again, you're going to go into your, you're going to hit your variable button, go over your y variables, select function, and select your y sub 2. So now we're dividing that by the second function, and in that function we need to tell it what to input as well, and in this case we still want to input that previous answer. And now when I hit enter, it's going to give me my next iteration of Newton's method. So my x sub 1, my initial input was a 1. When I hit enter here, it gives me my adjusted x sub 2. So it's telling me that 1.5 is a closer estimation. And now I can just hit the enter button to do another iteration because now 1.5 is my answer. So if I repeat that process, it's going to find x sub 3. That's my third iteration. And you can do a fourth iteration and so on just by hitting enter. And you can see that after just four iterations, we're very close to what the actual answer would be. And that actual answer would be the square root of 2. If you evaluate square root of 2, you can see that we've been pretty accurate with our guess just after four iterations of uh, Newton's method, using the calculator to do most of the legwork for us.